welcome to this lecture so in the previous lecture we defined some of the functions in our control class so let's define the main loop of our class and that would be defined here after this toggle so let's define it as main so this main loop will just uh, event handler or uh, it will be also the event loop which passes the event to the next state so let me say it should pass as an self here and this will be basically main loop for entire this should be for in entire program so it will be the main loop for entire program so let's define it now so first we'll say while that is condition to check and it will be not self dot done so if it is not done you have to just loop through it so if it is not done we'll just get the event loop first from this function and after that the next thing we'll just call this update function that we created in this control class and the next thing is we'll just update this display from this display dot update function of our pygame module so next thing we can do is we'll just set this tick as an appears that is from this clock dot tick and just pass here that is the current frame per second that we defined and after that we'll just check that if the self dot so appears and if it is true basically if the so appears is true just get this appears that is frame per second from this clock dot get fps function that we defined and after that just format that appears now so let me just format it here let me just give a curly braces and we can say this and just you can format your way here so let me say it should be 2f so let me just put here 2f and fps and let's format this it should be format function and so it should be formatted as first this path that is this point this braces should be for our caption and the next braces this is the for two float that should be your ps now this formatted text will be stored in some way that is with your ps and in this variable we have to now set the caption with this variable so let me say pg dot display dot set caption for me and that caption should be with a ps so we have created our main loop for the entire program so next thing next big thing what you can do is we'll just create a class here and that would be state class so let's pass object in this state class and it is optional and after that we'll just define the initializer here and the next thing what you can do is we'll just set this start time for our state and obviously the current time and we'll do bunch of uh, coding here for our function so let's see we have to initialize first let me say start time the so start time here should be let me give hyphen here underscore maybe and start time would be 0, 0.0 and similarly the current time is also the initialize so this state is basically to the referring to the particular state and that should be 0, 0.0 the current time and similarly self dot done is false you have to loop for this current state and we'll say self dot quit is false and self dot let me define another variable that is to be false and similarly self dot next next is none none here that is next state basically and the self dot previous state should be also none previous should be none here and the last thing what you can do is we'll just maintain the list for this persist 
if you wonder what that persist was so we have checked that persist in our flip state function and we have said that this state should be cleaned up in this persist so we'll just see maintain that persist here and after that the next thing we can do is we'll just call this get event function and this get event will get this uh, self that is current object and the event so just pass here don't do anything after the getting the event and next thing what you can do is we'll define the start of function and this start of will take a bunch of uh, parameter that will be for self and the current time now so this is the current time and we'll call this method that is start of method from our main class that is if you see here we have this label one dot py and after that this current time we'll just say persistence that is basically cleaning cleaning up all this state and this persistent self dot persist we have created this persist list so this persist list should be persistence every time you call it and self dot start time here should be now current time so after that we have finished this start of method let's define the clean up clean up method now so this is to clean up our states and for that we'll say self dot done equal to now again a false here that should be false and after that the next thing will be just will just return something from this cleanup and that should be self dot persist persist and basically this persist will be the list maintaining all this cleanup of our list or of our state so after that we'll just define an update again and this update will take a self here and obviously it will also take a surface and after that we'll just have these keys a bunch of keys which user pressed and the current time and what you're gonna do in this update just pass here so after that we have to just load bunch of images or resources from this resources folder into our module so go into this resources and check for their graphics and these graphics that are basically our some of these png file we have also if you go in here we must have that is somewhere you can also import in this font you can see that is a ttf file and similarly we have sound if you want the sound for the player and obviously the music so let's import that with this function and that would be load all jfx we say load all jfx and this will take our directory first it will take our direct so this should be outside this main loop so it should be outside here and it should take first a directory that is the directory in this case it will be obviously our mario game in so first parameter will be the directory that is basically referring to this resource directory and after this directory what you can have next is we'll just give this color key combination here that would be color key variable with a default value passed as in tuple here that should be combination of r n b that is blue and red so that would be 255 to 5 zero and two five five and what should, should accept so it should accept a bunch of an file that can be dot png file so we have here dot png only but you can just accept some of the file that can start from jpg and similarly you can also accept some files that can basically start from bmp so let's do that here and and the next thing what you can do here is we'll just create this graphics variable and this will be dictionary which will contain our graphics so we'll just loop now that is for pick in os dot list dir so this list dir is the function of this os module and here what will pass is directory 
so we'll just pass directly here and we'll just loop inside this resources folder now so inside this resources folder we'll just get this name and this extension for our file that is name and the extension ext and just pass it as os dot path dot split text here that should be split text and give the path here so path would be just a pick here and the next thing what you can do is we'll just check if the extension is acceptable or not so that would be if extension dot let's get that lower case for that so extension should be converted into the lower case and in accept so if it is in the accept that means in this range then what you can do is we'll just say image a call to just get that image for me that would be from image dot load and just give a path here that would be os dot path dot join so you could join now directory and your pick that is directory and this picture of yours so after that we'll say if image dot get alpha is true here so if the image dot get alpha is true then we'll just convert it the image from this convert alpha method so that would be like image dot let me say image dot convert alpha method which is the method of our pi game so i'll say convert alpha now else so what if it is not inside this extension so what you can do so first basically this is not for extension this is basically for getting this alpha and if it is true that so that means if the get alpha is true then we'll just convert that is of transparency so background should be transparent else the next thing what you can do is we'll just convert this pixels from this convert function and we'll just set the color key that would be like this function so it should be color key function and you can check the documentation where this color key will just do for you so that should be color key here color key set this color key and after that next thing what you can do here so this should be color underscore key so after that the next thing what you can do here is we'll just set so you can also have this next argument here that will just increase the loading of our image and that is basically optional so next thing what you can do is we'll just return that is graphics from here so i'll say return the graphics from here so this graphics will be basically now all the images and this image you can see in this graphics we have only those png extension images so it will just get this all of the images and set it in this dictionary that is graphic dictionary and return this graphics from this load all gfx function so we have returned graphics from this load all gfx function now the next thing what you can do is we'll just go to this level 1.py and make use of this tool.py in order to use this all the images and also work with this state and similarly work with this main event loop so see you in the next